Installation and Operation Guide for the Gold Leaf Making Machine The machine consists of a melting furnace, a casting chamber, and a collection chamber. Power Connection The machine's power cable is located at the lower left on the back. This black power cable consists of five wires, black, gray, and brown are live wires, blue is the neutral wire, and yellow-green is the ground wire. Connect them accordingly. The main switch is located on the side of the machine. Flip it up to start the machine and down to turn it off. Water and air connection. There are six pipelines at the lower right on the back of the machine that need to be connected. There are two air inlets on the left side. The upper one is connected to the protective gas, and the lower one is connected to the air compressor. An air compressor with a capacity of 500 liter and a power of 0.5 kilowatts is sufficient. Argon gas can be used as the protective gas. There are four water inlet pipes on the left side. The two smaller ports on the left connect to the cooling system for the rotating plate, while the two larger ports on the right connect to the overall machine cooling system. The rotating plate temperature should be maintained between 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. The overall machine temperature should be maintained between 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. The machine's water inlet should be connected to the cooler's water outlet, and the machine's water outlet should be connected to the cooler's water inlet. Crucible installation. Follow the video demonstration to install each component in sequence. Ensure that the bottom part of the crucible is tightened before placing it into the quartz sleeve. Before installing the stopper rod, control it to rise first. Install the stopper rod. Install the temperature probe. Lower the stopper rod and check its stability. After installation is complete, close the door. There is a lighting lamp for observing the casting process. PLC Control Panel Introduction Indicator Lights A green light indicates normal operation, while a red light signals a fault or emergency stop. The buzzer indicator will sound when the casting chamber moves. Two lights indicate cooling water and electrical status, green means normal, left red means low pressure, and right red means high pressure. These two buttons are for language selection. Press N to switch to the English interface. This button controls the opening and closing of the melting furnace lid. This button controls the fan, which helps with cooling and scraps collection. This button controls the protective gas flow. The temperature monitoring indicator, red means the temperature communication error. Press the temperature setting to adjust the temperature, with a maximum limit of 1700 degrees Celsius. This button raises and lowers the stopper rod. This button controls heating. This button controls the raising and lowering of the casting chamber. This button moves the casting chamber forward. This button returns the casting chamber to its original position. Two lights indicate the position of the casting chamber, green means the chamber is in place, while red means it is not. The rotating plate indicator, red means a motor communication error. This button starts the rotating plate. This button stops it. Press the speed set button to set the speed. The maximum rotation speed is 1420 rotations per minute. The higher the speed, the thinner the final product. The lower the speed, the thicker and shorter the final product. The emergency stop button halts the machine. To restart, turn the button to the right. Operation Procedure Place the material into the crucible, close the lid, and press the control panel button to secure it. Raise the casting chamber.
Before casting, ensure that the collection tray is positioned below the casting chamber. Raise the collection chamber by pressing the pedal until it aligns with the casting chamber. Set the temperature according to the metal being melted. Turn on the protective gas and adjust its flow, turning left increases flow, generally, set it above 0.2, start heating and adjust power. Begin the melting process. The rotating plate and fan can be turned on during melting. Attention, the rotating plate must be activated before casting begins. Ensure the metal is fully melted and the turntable is already running. Then, lift the stopper rod to start casting. Check the product. After casting is completed, turn off the heating and lower the stopper rod. Do not stop the turntable and protective gas yet. Wait until the temperature cools down to around 800 degrees Celsius before turning off the turntable, fan, and protective gas. Lower the collection chamber by rotating the handle. After casting, wait at least 30 minutes before touching the product to avoid burns. Scrap Recovery and Casting Chamber Cleaning and Maintenance Before recovering scraps from the casting chamber, ensure the machine has cooled down and the rotating plate has stopped. Lower the casting chamber using the PLC control panel and move it forward. Note, the chamber must be lowered before it can be moved forward. The bottom of the casting chamber is removable. Operators can enter the chamber to brush and collect residual material or clean it from the top. After the work is completed, ensure the machine has cooled to at least 200 degrees Celsius before shutting it down. 